the worship of the profit motive and the extreme selfishness and disregard for others in laissez-faire capitalism cannot be described as anything but psychopathic. I mean, here's an ideology that doesn't think you should have firefighters, water, food, roads, health care, uh, retirement, income, etc. unless you can pay for a private service. In other words, uh, if your house is on fire and you didn't pay for a private fire agency, well, fuck you. If you need uh, medical care, uh, you know, water, food, etc., but don't have the money for it, well, fuck you. If a 70-year-old um, lady didn't invest in the stock market and doesn't have an income to retire in her old age, well, fuck her, right? And uh, instead of paying for the roads uh, to ensure that ambulances and firefighters get to your home, they say, well, why should I pay for those roads? Fuck you. So instead of calling the provision of these things solidarity, they claim that ensuring that, you know, our fellow human beings have these things is coercion. At the same time, they ignore the much worse coercion that results from the lack of these things and they ignore the much worse exploitation and uh, coerced set of choices that results from their favored economic system of wage slavery in which countless humans have to choose between uh, being exploited and subordinated to a capitalist or starving to death Okay, asshole. I've sat by and watched uh, a ton of these videos now. You do nothing but uh, pump out videos attacking individuals and anarchists, Mark anarchists, uh, left and right. It's all you do. It seems like all you do. So I'm going to respond to this one. You start your video out with a complete straw man that I am somehow opposed to firefighters, food, roads, health care, retirement income, etc. You're setting up a false dichotomy that either these things are provided coercively through some collective means or they're not provided at all. This is absolute bullshit. We merely do not wish to provide status means in order to provide these things. It has been the position of individual anarchists for over 200 years that these things do not need to be provided by massive organized theft. You don't need to tax or steal to provide these things. You don't need to force people to act in their own best interest. It's called spontaneous order, emergent society, supply and demand. It, hell, it fits into Proudhon's uh, concept of of the uh, order uh, of liberty being the mother, not the daughter of uh, order. You seem to be forgetting this, if you indeed ever knew it or heard it. These things will be constructed if people desire them. These things will be provided if people desire them. And if no one desires them, if no one provides for them, then too fucking bad. I do not claim right to force a community to pay for roads because it's in their best interest. I do not have the audacity to sit here and proclaim that I am the decider, or me and my democratic gang of morons is the, de the decider for people's lives. I do not have the gall to tell a man that I know better for his own life than he does. If your house is on fire with your firefighter example, and you did not pay for an agency to put it out, then it, or sign up for some uh, part of some collective, you know, community of people who have decided to help each other with this sort of thing, then it's that's your own damn fault. It's not mine. Because your house is on fire gives you no right to force someone to do it for you. Your this sort of claim to positive right, your obligatory claims upon others to provide you with services and goods, not as a part of payment for injustice or the breach of uh, contract is slavery. Positive rights is slavery. Can you get that through your ugly skull? If I can compel you to provide me with a service or a good, then I am a slave master. It is not my place upon this planet to become uh, slave to every other fool and leech who believes he has some right to make his, to make the industrious and the otherwise fine and dandy pay for his foolishness. The only thing we oppose is your involuntarism. I do not place a positive obligation upon a man, any man, even you, 
even though I fucking hate your guts, to provide service or goods for another man for the reason I just stated. It is slavery. It is subjugation. It is statism. You're providing status solutions to state problems. You, my friend, my enemy, my counterpart, I have had it up to my goddamn eyeballs with the likes of you. You are little more than a Bolshevik. You are little more than a social democrat with the daft delusion floating about your ugly skull that you are somehow an anarchist. You and Chomsky are doing nothing but recruiting anarchists into the state structure of violence to solve your problems. Into their structure of slavery. Into their structure of forced labor and coerced activity. You divorce justice from anarchism. You infuse voting, of all things. And you preach reformism! Reformism! Oh! Oh, the revolutionary anarcho-communist who, pr who promotes reformism! God, that'll tear down the state! Gee, it hasn't worked for libertarians for over 200 years. It's funny that we're just now, we're just now starting to get individual anarchists out of voting. We're starting, we're finally starting to push them out of the goddamn polling stations. And here you are, drawing people, drawing motherfuckers back in. You're, you and him are setting back anarchism about mm, 200 years. You are a minarchist at best. But that would be an insult to minarchists, who have always stated at least the intention to retract the state from uh, its influence over society, not secure its shackles in the name of their preference for uh, uh, individualist organization or for collectivist organization. It doesn't fucking matter. Okay, I'm done. But yeah, go fuck yourself.